Hey guys, this is Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily organize your files from Dreaming Tree in Cricut Design Space. So, in this video, we're going to be working with the Butterfly Greeting Card. And after you make your purchase, you download it and unzip it. And typically, what you'll end up doing is you're going to go to Upload Images, and you're going to hit Upload Image, and you're going to hit Browse. And in my case, I have the unzipped version of the file on the desktop, so I'm going to open up that folder, and I'm going to go into the SVG folder, and as you can see here, this product is made up of these five SVGs, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import them one at a time, and I'm going to open the flowerbandwhite.svg file, and there it is. And so the easiest way to organize these is by using the tags, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just copy and paste the name from the website, Butterfly Greeting Card SVG, and I'm going to paste it into this field here, okay? So you can do it that way, or if you want to give this a custom name, you can. It's up to you, and I'm going to hit Save. So as you can see, the file is down here, and that's one way of bringing it in, but I'm going to go ahead and continue and import the rest of these files and I'm just going to paste that same word or that same phrase or tag into that box and hit save okay so I'm gonna just do all of them so that you guys get a, an idea of what I'm doing here I'm not changing the image name that's not important I'm gonna leave it as is as you can see it's pulling the name from the actual SVG file which is fine but again I've pasted the actual name of the product from our site into the tags field and I hit save and I'm going to repeat that process until I get them all in there so again I'm just pasting in the name hitting save uploading the image browsing and I'm going to paste the name again and hit save and now in this case there is an envelope that came with this card. It's in the envelope folder and it's made up of two pieces. So I'm also going to import those and I'm going to paste those and hit save. And one last piece is the second piece of the envelope. I'm going to right click and hit paste and hit save. Okay, so what I've done in essence is I've imported all three, four, five, six, seven pieces for this specific card, okay, including the envelope and I've tagged each one with the specific name of the file from our website. Now, you can import them all by selecting them here, but as you can see, eventually when you import more stuff, it's gonna get kinda messy down here and you're gonna end up with all sorts of stuff that's just kinda disorganized. So, what you can do, once you have them imported and once you have them tagged, you can go to Insert Image or insert images up here and this little cone or this filter you can click on the filter and select only uploaded okay and that's going to show you only the stuff that you've uploaded and not the stuff that Cricut offers for sale so we have it filtered by uploaded and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the butterfly greeting card name here okay and I'm going to paste it and do a search and what it's doing is it's looking for those tags okay so in just a few seconds here it's gonna bring up those seven files that we just tagged so that's a great way to keep all of your stuff organized in Cricut Design Space now one other thing I do want to mention while I'm here is occasionally in Design Space, for some reason, after you upload a file, like an SVG, uh, if you use it the first time, it works. Sometimes I've noticed when you go back and try to open it again, it sizes it really weird, okay? If you ever experience that, you may have to re-upload your files. I think it's been happening less and less lately. Maybe they fixed whatever glitch was causing it. But if for some reason you import one of our files, and they don't import at the correct size, but something like way bigger, then something got corrupt when you uploaded it and you may need to re-upload it. But again, just to go over the process again, as far as locating the files after you've uploaded and tagged them, 
you're going to accomplish that by going under insert images up here and changing your filter to uploaded and then typing in whatever it was that you tagged those files with in my case again it was the, e the easiest thing to do was to copy and paste the actual name of the design from the website and then I hit search and it will reveal those results based on that tag so you have everything that you need specifically for that project right in front of you and you're ready to go so there they are and then you can go ahead and select them all they're all pre-sized ready to cut and you can insert the images and they'll all pop up on your screen ready to go stay on top of all things dreaming tree and engage with us today get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on facebook get inspired by following us on pinterest be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.